Hello everyone, my name is TheMaster524. Now here, I'm going to do a little something special. I'm here to talk about the hit video game series, The Legend of Zelda. Now as you can see in the title, this isn't about one specific game or the whole series in general. It's just about one specific character. Do know that this is just on my opinion, so don't get all angry and whatnot. Now this character is hardworking, loyal, and always willing to help out. Now you're most likely thinking about the Zelda protagonist, Link. Yeah, no. Could it be Zelda? Well, how can she be hardworking and willing to help out if she's always getting captured? <laughs> but hey, at least she's not in another castle. No, the character I'm talking about is none other than Epona. Epona is the best character in the Zelda universe. Now as far as I know, Epona is in three games. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Twilight Princess. And in every game, she goes through so much crap. I mean, in Ocarina of Time, you meet Epona who's scared of you. No, Epona, come back! And then seven years later, she's locked up in Lon Lon Ranch by this asshole, and you actually race against him with the horse, and then later find out you have to even bet 50 rupees on the horse. And what's worse, if you didn't get Epona at all, Inga was going to present it to Ganondorf, out of all people! Like, are you kidding me? And if you think that was bad enough, what Epona went through in Majora's Mask was the worst. In the beginning of the game, Epona is carrying Link through the woods when the Skull Kid ambushes Link, steals his ocarina, and takes off with Epona, only to find out later that he got rid of the horse. Um, bitch, you did not just kill Epona. But it's all good because Epona somehow magically goes through this big ass boulder, and then the people of that ranch lock the horse up. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Epona. And then in Twilight Princess, Link uses Epona to help him with his hurting job, and then manages to injure it when this bitch goes off, steals Epona, never to see Link until he learns his lesson. But Epona is always willing to stand by Link's side no matter what. Here's the best part too. In the Legend of Zelda games, you are able to choose a name for your protagonist. And in Twilight Princess, you're not only just able to name your protagonist, but you're also able to name Epona. Now, I don't understand why anyone else would choose something other than Epona, since it's such a badass name right from the get-go. But there are going to be those immature people out there who are going to name Epona your mom. So they can go around saying, I'm writing your mom, I'm writing your mom. <laughs> but Epona is the most badass in this game because you could use her against King Moblin. And then after that little light arrow scene, Epona epically shows up out of nowhere, no questions asked. And you get to use her in the Battle of Ganondorf. I mean, hell yeah. So why is it that Epona has all this bullshit happen to her? Like, what the hell, Miyamoto? Despite how much crap she went through though, Epona will always be a great asset to Link's adventure. Because without her, Link would not be able to go anywhere. Okay, do you see this? Do you see Link riding on Epona? Yeah, this would be Link without Epona. Yeah. Nothing. And do you ever see Link to thank Epona? No. Like I said in the beginning, Epona is hardworking, loyal, and always willing to help out. Maybe Link just doesn't know how lucky he really is.